Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Fishing Beast. Today, we're going to be doing a challenge video, and I have this little three and a half foot rod, and it's the challenge is going to be called the Micro Pen Rod Fishing Challenge. So, what I'm going to do is I've never fished this area before, but I'm going to throw it back in that shade line and see what type of fish we can catch with this. And I have a bucket behind me that's filled up with water and we'll put the fish in here for the video. We'll put the fish in that bucket and I'll release them at the end. But first cast, we already got a bite, so that's a good sign. I just have a little bobber on here with a split shot and a piece of worm, and they seem to be liking the piece of worm so far. So what I have right here is just, it's a little piece. It doesn't have to be very big. I'm just gonna take it, thread it through once like that, and then I'm gonna grab it and thread it back through again. Just like that. And what I'm gonna do is throw it right in the shade line because it's pretty hot out. So they're gonna be hanging out in the shade line. So I'm gonna throw it in there. Okay, we're getting bit, so that's a good sign. I've never fished here before, so I don't even know if there are fish in here. So we're gonna throw it right back in there and see if we can catch our first fish of the video. Ooh, these guys are really tricky to hook, but there might be creature up in here and there might be bluegill or maybe some little catfish and stuff but i've never fished here so i don't know but we, I, I threw it out in the sun on that so i need to throw it back in the shade but when it's hot out like this you want to get it in the shade spots because that's where they're going to be at so just throw the worm back in there these guys are really really actually really hard to hook but you want to just throw the worm back in there and wait until it, the bobber starts moving around and when it goes under, that's when you want to take it. So it's moving around right now. It's getting bit. I can't tell if they took the worm off my hook or not. Ooh. Okay, so these fish are really, really tricky to catch. I'll try to catch one and then I'm going to turn the GoPro off and catch some more and then I'll show you guys what I've caught at the end of the video but these I'm actually having a really hard trouble hooking these because like their mouths are either oh there we go first fish and that is a little bluegill so that is a good size little bluegill for bait it's a really, really pretty fish. Really, really pretty. I'm trying not to get poked, but that's that fish has some really beautiful colors on it. And like I said, guys, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna put them in the bucket. But afterwards, I release them all back into the into the stream again, so it'll all be fine. But I'm going to throw it right back out there and see whatever other fish we can catch with this. I So, judging by this, I'm pretty sure there's bluegill in here. And there might be some creek chub hanging up in these little shade spots back there. But the creek chub don't come out till late afternoon, so we not, might not be able to catch them. But we're going to try to anyways. But I think I'm going to go over in that area and see what other fish are in here. Okay, it's getting bit. Ooh, okay. These guys are really, really tricky to hook. So I think the, I think what we're gonna have to do is let them bring the bobber completely under. Then after they bring the bobber like that, you gotta, I guess I'm gonna have to set the hook afterwards, but I am going to turn the GoPro off for a bit and I'm going to, I'm gonna catch some and then I'll turn it back on and show you guys the amount that I caught. Okay guys, so I'm gonna fish for a bit longer and I'll film this part too. But what I'm doing is I'm just throwing it in these shade spots in here. And I've caught a lot of bluegill and a couple creek chub so far. But what I'm doing is back in that shade spot right there, there's a lot of fish just loaded in there. There's another one. 
And that, guys, is a huge, huge creature. Look at that guy. That is a huge creature for my area. They get, they get way bigger than that. But that is a really, really, really big creature for my area. So, like I said, an amazing size creature for this creek. Because this creek isn't very big. Like, as you guys can see right there. But, I'm catching a decent amount of fish on here. But, I just ran out of worms. So, I'm going to show you guys the final product of all the fish that we caught. Those are all the fish right there. So, right in here, there is... That's a little, little, little creature up right there. So... There's a lot of bluegill in here, like that guy, and this guy right there. But we're going to get a good release, and we'll save the biggest creature for last. So first off, a little bluegill. So there he goes. So I'm right off. Second, we're going to get this bluegill that's a bit bigger. And I think we caught one, two, three, four, five... We caught eight fish in total. There's the second little bluegill. Off he goes. Um, now let's grab the third bluegill right here. Another perfect little guy. Those are all perfect bait for bass and catfish and stuff, but I don't normally keep the fish. Um, there's the fourth little bluegill. And let's grab the last bluegill in here. Just spined me. And that's the last bluegill. That's five. Now let's grab the creek chub. So this is the smallest of all the creek chubs, if I can grab them. That's the smallest one of all the creek chubs. I'm trying to get a good shot for you guys. There he goes. Oh, nope. Can I grab him? Nope. Hey, there we go. Got him. That's the smallest of all the creek chubs in here. Um, and then there's two other ones that are pretty big size. Wow, that guy can jump. So, this is the second creek chub that I caught on this video. Um, and there might be a lot more in here. That's, here he goes right here. Let's throw him back in there. And this is the biggest and final creek chub of them all for the video. Let's try to lip them. So, right there is the biggest that right here is the biggest creek chub of the video so let's give this guy a proper and good release off he goes right back into the creek and he'll go right back out there in that shade spot where we caught him at there he goes swimming off so thank you guys for watching this video this is a good way to catch creek chub and bluegill and stuff and that was my my challenge video for this video so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss another video and thank you guys for watching and i will see you on another video